The dog is back home here tonight. The owner learning some difficult lessons, but just glad this didn't turn out worse. Oh, Titus. This is Titus, a one-year-old German short-haired pointer who lives in Millis with the Siskevich family. They got him at the beginning of the pandemic and has hardly left Greg's side, even taking him to work in Cambridge. This is the longest that we've been apart and I can't remember how long. Apart after Greg left him in the car for a few minutes with the windows open outside of work on busy Memorial Drive in Cambridge yesterday. When he got back to the car, Titus was gone, but he didn't get out on his own. To be honest, I probably didn't even lock the door, yeah. right? I honestly wouldn't expect that someone would go in to a car with a dog in it. Greg says someone put the leash on the dog and took him out of the car. The person actually leaving their belongings in his car. Cambridge police putting out these surveillance images, hoping someone would recognize the man or Titus. 24 hours later, they both returned to where he was taken. He went in, he, um, he leashed Titus, and then he took him, just took him for a walk. He came, brought him right back just a, a day later. That made this reunion between Titus and Greg possible. The dog was just fine. Police arresting a 29-year-old man from Boston. Greg says his heart goes out to the suspect. He leaves. Just happy to have his four-legged friend back home. And I'm grateful that this wasn't like one of those stories where all of a sudden you never hear Titus again and, you know, God only knows what happens and I spend the next 15 years looking at every dog in the city of Boston. So I'm grateful I don't have to do that. An emotional story, but a happy end to that story. The owner here says that he's going to get a chip for Titus moving forward. We're live in Millis tonight. I'm Peter Iliopoulos, WCVB News Center 5.